This video is about graphs and equations of lines. Here we're given the graph of a line. We want to find the equation. One standard format for the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. Here m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept, the y-value where the line crosses the y-axis. The slope is equal to the rise over the run, or sometimes this is written as the change in y values over the change in x values. Or in other words, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are points on the line. While we could use any two points on the line to find the slope, it's convenient to use points where the x and y coordinates are integers, that is, points where the line passes through grid points. So here would be one convenient point to use, and here's another convenient point to use. The coordinates of the first point are 1, 2, and the next point, this is, let's see, 5, negative 1. Now I can find the slope by looking at the rise over the run. So as I go through a run of this distance, I go through a rise of that distance. It's actually going to be a negative rise or a fall because my line is pointing down. So let's see, counting off squares, this is a run of 1, 2, 3, 4 squares and a rise of 1, 2, 3, so negative 3. So my slope is going to be negative 3 over 4. I got that answer by counting squares, but I could have also gotten it by looking at the difference in my y values over the difference in my x values. That is, I could have done negative 1 minus 2, that's from my difference in y values, and divide that by my difference in x values, which is 5 minus 1. That gives me negative 3 over 4, as before. So my m is negative 3 fourths. Now I need to figure out the value of b, my y-intercept. Well, I could just read it off the graph. It looks like approximately 2.75, but if I want to be more accurate, I can again use a point that has integer coordinates that I know its exact coordinates. So either this point or that point. Let's try this point. And I can start off with my equation y equals mx plus b, that is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus b, and I can plug in the point 1, 2 for my x and y. So that gives me 2 equals negative 3 fourths times 1 plus b. Solving for b, let's see, that's 2 equals negative 3 fourths plus b. So add 3 fourths to both sides, that's 2 plus 3 fourths equals b. So b is... 8 fourths plus 3 fourths, which is 11 fourths, which is actually just what I eyeballed it to be. So now I can write out my final equation for my line, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 11 fourths by plugging in for m and b. Next, let's find the equation for this horizontal line. A horizontal line has slope 0, so if we think of it as y equals mx plus b, m is going to be 0. In other words, it's just y equals b. y is some constant. So if we can figure out what that, that constant y value is, it looks like it's uh, 2, let's see, that's 3, 3 and a half. We can just write down the equation directly. y equals 3.5. For a vertical line like this one, it doesn't really have a slope. I mean, if you tried to do the rise over the run, uh, there's no run, so you'd, I guess you'd be dividing by zero and get an infinite slope. But, but instead, we just think of it as an equation of the form x equals something. And in this case, x equals negative 2. Notice that all of the points on our line have the same x-coordinate of negative 2, and the y-coordinate can be anything. So this is how we write the equation for a vertical line. In this example, we're not shown a graph of the line, we're just told that it goes through two points. But knowing that it goes through two points is enough to find the equation for the line. 
First, we can find the slope by taking the difference in y values over the difference in x values. So that's negative 3 minus 2 over 4 minus 1, which is negative 5 thirds. So we can use the standard equation for the line. This is called the slope-intercept form. And we can plug in negative 5 thirds. And we can use one point. Either one will do. We'll still get the same final answer. So let's use 1, 2 and plug that in to get 2 equals negative 5 thirds times 1 plus b. And so b is 2 plus 5 thirds, which is 6 thirds, plus 5 thirds, which is 11 thirds. So our equation is y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 11 thirds. This is method one. Method two uses a slightly different form of the equation. It's called the point slope form, and it goes y minus y naught is equal to m times x minus x naught where x naught, y naught is a point on the line, and m, again, is the slope. So we calculate the slope the same way by taking a difference in y values over a difference in x values. But then we can simply plug in any point. For example, the point 1, 2 will work. We can plug 1 in for x naught and 2 in for y naught in this point slope form. That gives us y minus 2 is equal to minus 5 thirds x minus 1. Notice that these two equations, while they may look different, are actually equivalent. Because if I distribute the negative 5 thirds and then add the 2 to both sides, I get the same equation as above. So we've seen two ways of finding the equation for the line, using the slope-intercept form and using the point-slope form. In this video, we saw that you can find the equation for a line if you know the slope and you know one point. You can also find the equation for the line if you know two points, because you can use the two points to get the slope and then plug in one of those points to figure out the rest of the equation. We saw two standard forms for the equation of a line, the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, and the point-slope form, y minus y naught equals m times x minus x naught, where m, again, is the slope, and x naught, y naught is a point on the line.